I'm going to be making some samosas. These are a great little party food because they can be made well in advance. And these are going to be filled with lightly spiced sweet potato and served with a coriander dip. So to begin, I'm just going to preheat my pan. So I've got a light olive oil, or you could use a vegetable oil, followed by finely diced onion. I've got a little bit of finely chopped ginger and garlic going in next. So the idea now is that I soften these down. It's going to take about five minutes to get these nice and soft. Once your ginger, garlic and onions are softened, you can add your spices. So today we're using um, some curry powder and some cumin seeds. We've got a little bit of turmeric in there, cinnamon, cloves. Once your curry powder and your cumin seeds have toasted, it's going to be smelling really lovely and aromatic. You can go to the next stage, which is going to be the sweet potato. I'm also going to add some chopped green chilli and then add a dash of water to help to cook down the sweet potato. So I'm just stirring this all together before I pop a lid on to allow it to cook down for the next few minutes. So after it's cooked down, you can have a little check that the vegetables are looking nice and soft. Now it's ready for the final addition of ingredients. Frozen peas which have been thawed, lemon juice to season, and freshly chopped coriander. Fresh mint would work really nicely as well. So fold all of the ingredients together and then this will need seasoning with some salt and a little bit of pepper. So here I've got some ready-made phyllo sheets which I've brushed with ghee. And um, if you don't have ghee, you can just use some melted butter. I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of the filling and place it at the bottom towards the left hand corner. Then I'm gonna fold the strip into a triangle and you keep on folding until you reach the end of that strip. And then you can give them one final brush with the ghee or melted butter. This is just gonna help them go really lovely and crisp and golden in the oven. These are now ready to go in the oven, but before I do that, I'm gonna sprinkle them with some cumin seeds, just to give a little bit of crunch, a little bit more flavor on top. They can also be frozen at this stage. If you do freeze them, then you'll need to just give them a little brush with the melted butter or the ghee before they go in the oven and a sprinkle of the cumin seeds on top. I'm gonna pop these into the oven now, and they will take about 20 minutes until they're deep golden brown and crisp. So whilst your samosas are in the oven, you've got plenty of time to make the coriander dip to serve with them. I've got here some coriander. I'm just going to tear it into my food processor. Some garlic, peeled. Green chilies, which have been de-seeded and roughly chopped. Ground coriander and the seeds of cardamom. Add some lemon juice. So I'm going to blend all of this together with some extra virgin olive oil. And this is lovely served alongside the samosas. And after 20 minutes in the oven, they should be crisp and a really lovely deep golden brown. And they'll be ready to serve once slightly cooled alongside the zingy and fiery coriander dip. <laughs>